Bonjour everyone, I am Yann, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and welcome back to Lost in Random. Last time we finally dealt with Royam and Two Town is finally safe and free of the second moon and upside down town. And so now we've got the eyes of Seymour. So uh, something also exciting is that I'm finally filming those in advance. So uh, I'm, I'm finally going to be more aware of what I do uh, in the next episode at least. And uh, especially right now, it's not been that long since I last recorded the uh, latest episode, which was episode five, I think. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's go back into Lost in the Random. There we go. I don't know what that accent was, don't, don't ask me. Alright, so yes, we are in the ruins of the second moon, and we can finally get some progress done. I see. Thank you, Dicey. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're here now. It is good to be whole once again. Um. No. Why would you want to keep parts of that awful man? Because he's a part of me. If you cut off a limb, you'd want it back too, wouldn't you? Furthermore, I think I've learned mediocre poetry. Thank <laughs> you for your help, even. I think I understand. Without him, I'm not the same. But with him, I'm accomplished. He says hello, by the way, even. He says he hopes to see you again, very soon. That's freaky. It's been a strange time being here. It's been a very strange time for us here too, even. But in saving us, you become an inextricable part of that. Wherever you go, a small part of Two Town now goes with you. Cool. Cool, cool. And strange cool, cool, cool. is good. Yes, I agree. Strange is good. I actually do not have questions. So goodbye, Mr. Mayor. Goodbye, even. You will always have my thanks. Well, you're welcome. Uh, we still have those two side and quests. And so, even went to give... Whoa, whoa, what's that? Double or nothing. Randomly offers the cost of cards. In your hand to either free or double the cost. See yep. more his eyes back. I'm positive he was dying to make eye contact with his pupils once again. <laughs> and wait a minute. Um, yeah. These are terrible. I'll edit them out later. Oh dear. Do I ever shut up? And lo, did the number two inspire all to praise the queen? Oh, I've got cars to trade. Don't you want to follow suit? Uh, yeah, actually, what do you have? What's that again? Each crystal is worth more. Increases the speed of drawing cards. Um, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, the crystal thing, the crystal curse is really good. Really, really good. Um... What else do we have? Uh, Dice will just boon. That could actually be really OP if we have two of those. Like we do uh, two of those so that one so that we can lower the cost of the other and then the um, level two cards are essentially free to use. You know what I'm saying? So um hmm. i don't like what's there i don't like this i kind of see why this would be cool uh especially for boss fights like uh royam the king's hand uh, we already have that that's not really useful the health elixir that's useful uh guard down we can no if I I honestly think that we'll use that. No. 
you do. <laughs> two towns and two moons rather than simply the boring one. And lo, did my other side have nothing of interest to preach? Okay, so, uh, I want to go to my journal. So, a tale of two town, catch him right handed. A big red was set up, her, her brother, Lil Joe, had traded her for a shot at freedom from upside downtown. Even was not about to let such an injustice stand, and knew she had to confront him. Sure. So, uh, this... I think I'm actually really confused. Uh, I think it was up there. So wait. Oh my God! So many side quests. Words for sale. Yeah, 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 Wanda. Whoever you are. Oh yeah, those two guys. Are, are they, they were so funny. Okay, so there was someone upstairs. I think. That's a spiffy nice costume, kid. <laughs> My grandmama told me about him. Yeah, sure. I want to see you. Yes, you. I know what you did to your twin, Lil Joe. What I? But uh, I didn't do anything to my twin. <laughs> Sounds like um, uh, the guy in Tatooine, like who who's enslaved uh, Anakin and his mother in uh, Star Wars. Um, well, nah, I don't remember his name. You, you, you know, Watto, Watto, that's his name. Uh, yeah, Watto, he sounds like it. So, you tricked her into t taking your place in the upside downtown. You sold her out so you, could, so you wouldn't have to work. Uh, Let's say that. How did you? It was a moment of weakness. I didn't think it through. It's awful in the upside downtown, and I just knew I'd hate it there. And Big Red is so easy to trick because she's me. We're the same person, born into two different bodies. I'm so ashamed. She's got the best parts of the two of us. She's so important to me, and I just... I sold her out! Please, can you help her? I know I've already asked so much, but... Uh... But you want to make things right. That's it! That's it exactly! Yeah, right. Well, Lil Joe, I've got great news for you. I rescued your counterpart. You did? Now she's going to kill me! And yep. I'm grateful that you gave her back the freedom to do so. You've let me take back the greatest mistake of my life. And I know my relationship with Big Red will never be the same. But at least now I have a chance to fix it. I wouldn't have that without you. Thank you, even. And here, for luck, better than mine. Yeah, what was that? Coins. Yeah. So cool. Uh, what's up there? How do I get up there? Is there a ladder I can use? It looks like I can use that. Wait. That ladder over there. Okay. Woohoo! Oh my god, she's got arms. What's that again? Oh, a bloob. What even are you? Uh, it's a nice weather we're having. Oh, you're a bloob. Yeah, right. <laughs> you said it, man. Okay, I'm going to pick you up now. Oh, they're terrifying. Okay, find the first bloobs. Okay, so that's what a bloob is. <laughs> they look so silly. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I still have to... Wow, this is from episode 4, I think. 
that was a really long time ago. I'm not even sure that was from episode four, actually. Oh, cool dog's costume. Get your cash drop. In it. I got a 50% off sale. That's twice as cheap as normal. Is that a blue? Yeah, that's a blue. Get your great fold here. What's your name, you little dude? Wow. <laughs> Have you heard any cool bloob rumors? Uh, I'm pretty sure you said ass. Interesting. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Okay, little guy. In you go. <laughs> They're such silly creatures, like... <laughs> I mean, look at this! Look at this face! And he's just in pain, like... <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! Okay. Oh, yeah, plant versus zombies. Looking kind of good. I need to find the final blue. But where is the final blue? That's the question. Oh, we're gonna get in a fight, right? No, actually. Okay, that's surprising. That's cool, I can get more coins that way. Aha! Hello there. Come on, the last bloom has to be somewhere around here. No? Uh, no, okay. Coins! Coins is good. So no bloom? No bloom. What a name. Okay. And back down. This game is really beautiful. Like, the art direction of this game is just something else. Like, I've never seen something quite like it. Oh, I've got Manny. cars to trade. Don't you want to follow suit? I know you do. No, not yet, actually. I'm still going to uh, collect some more coins and then we'll see. Manny! <laughs> bloops, bloops, bloops. Where are the bloops? Where are the bloops? Those creatures are terrifying, but they're cool. They, they're cool. They're cool. They're just scaring me, is all. It seemed to even that there were two sides to every story, especially here in Two Town, where even the residents seem to be of two minds. Why are you telling me this? Oh, so... Good morning, world! It's a beautiful yeah, yeah, day! Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Don't play the cinematic again. It's no use. It's literally the third time that we got it. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten back so far, right? Just trying to find bloobs is all. It's honestly not that easy. Okay, so there's definitely nothing up over there. 
Money. All bets are off when you've got a new card from old Manny Dex. This one. Anything here? And uh, no. Okay, so we can go back. I really wonder where the last bloob is. All bets are Manny. off when you've got a new card from old Manny Dex. Okay, so we've definitely got a blue from here. Have I been there? I have. Yeah, I definitely have. I don't think I can go on the other side of those boxes anyway. I don't know what troll car, but they sound disgusting. <laughs> okay, so I know I'm kind of dragging things because of the side quests. I got words for sale here. Choice words. Pluriophile. <laughs> it means uh, the the the. Oh my God! It's up there. It means the the one. Some of us are trying to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. The so the word pluviophile, uh, because actually pluvio is Latin, I would guess, because my language is mostly from made up of Latin um, words, and so that is the rain. Actually, somebody who likes the rain. Hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> See what? <laughs> Is that a language? Are you? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Like li literally, the thing is just in pain. It's just angry all the time. Look at its face, and it's like, ah! <laughs> uh... Okay, I'm gonna end this conversation now. <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> oh my god. I'm loving this game. Honestly, it's so... So, so fun. Okay, so now we'll have to, um, well, first, there we go, coins. You have the ingredients! Brilliant! That's all I need. Uh, please, pass them over. Remember, you did say you'd give them to me. Uh... No way. What? I don't understand. I... <laughs> I knew it! I knew it was logical that you would choose me to be the dominant personality! That Actually, is what you want, isn't it? No. You'll need to choose one of us. Who will it be? Uh... uh I have to choose. I don't want to choose. I don't want to. Um... I don't even remember. Like I don't, I don't remember our conversations, honestly. So the mad scientist one is the one that's in front of me, and this, the logical one, is uh, the one at the back of the head, the Voldemort one. <laughs> so, which one do we want to choose? Honestly. I would say the logical one because the mad scientist is the one that wanted to make the potion concoction whatever it was um, uh, to uh, make the other disappear so definitely the logical one is the better choice here right let's try it good well all that remains is to mix the ingredients drink the resolution solution and the ha, resolution. I feel different. Uh, better? Uh, different. Definitely different. D don't feel bad. This was the logical course of action. 
Now, it? it's only fair that I give you this. The promised reward. It's my partner's personality, distilled down to its pure essence. I hope you treat him well. I never could. He deserves more. He deserves better than I could give him. He deserves... <laughs> Listen to me. As if being sentimental is logical. Thank you for your help. What did you give me? Let's see. So, Natalia's Bell. Summon a healing bell that heals the dice wielder when she's near. That is so cool. That is really cool. Thank you. Actually. Um. So. Pum -pum -pum -pum. Journal, journal, journal. Right, so, a tale of two towns. Uh, we... That's the main quest. We still have the trade thing. Elizabeth was interested in Dias for her own mysterious reasons. And when she promised even a spell card, rare in type and high in value, in exchange for her finding one, sorry. Well, she had young Even's attention. Cedar Street seemed the best place to begin trading up to something as rare, vaunted, and illegal as a dice. Right, oh, dodge deer. So, are those, um, are you another quest? Thank you, little one. What, what for? What I do? <laughs> okay, whatever. Ah, p perhaps it was the. Oh yeah. Okay, so we helped the. Oh, maybe they were disturbed by the bloobs. Is that what it was? Because who wants to buy a word? I got cliniomania looking for a. I'm wondering if you'll trade me your rarest word. My rarest word. <laughs> That's a tall order. Um, what do you have to offer in trade? Your joke. Let's hear it. Uh, oh my god, what's brown and sticky? <laughs> we all know the answer to this one. How do you get down from an elephant? I don't know. Why did the number six fear the number seven? I want to hear this one. Why? <laughs> this is actually a good one because seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, seven, eight, nine. Ugh, keep that joke. I don't want it. What, what do you have really? to offer in trade? A rare word. I'm listening. A word to be used. When that's a convergence. Uh, hello, how outer wilds, by the way. <laughs> um, a word that describes the process of learning itself. Uh, auto. I, I I know it in French. I just don't know it in English. A word that's easy on the eyes. I want to know this one. Adlubescence. Adlu. Uh, adlu how, how would you say that with an English accent? Adlubescence. Yeah, why not? How does a small girl like you know an adult word like that? Herman, an old junker in one town, taught me it. Adlubescence. Oh, learning it is a pleasure. The breath of the essence sound, the mouth feel of Adlu. Oh, the rarity of it. Oh, oh, this is a word I can definitely sell. Tell you what, I'll give you a great word in exchange to. Cool. Oblectament. Which means... Oblectament. <laughs> Close. Oblectament. It means a source of delight. Really? For example, learning adlubescence is an oblectament. Oh. Thank you again, kid. It's been a pleasure doing business <laughs> with you. Thank you, Wanda. Bye. That was actually really cool. It's been an oblectament doing business with you. Beautiful. Beautiful Use it indeed. Well, kid. 
I got so many words, kid. Got a sale on me. Oh, she was lovely. Whoa. Now, who in Center Street wouldn't trade something for? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, we've got the, the the question mark over there, so we'll definitely go up there. Hello, who are you? Oh. What a long face. I need inspiration. I'd trade my Gobble Gregor for a flash of genius. You're what I'm now? I'm through Pipkin, by the way. I am an artist, but not with paints or music. My art is the art of trading, mm -hmm. and I want to push the art forward. Trading Gobble Gregors is so routine. I want to trade something that hasn't been traded before. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? A black... I, I don't even remember it. A word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? <laughs> a black tenant. <gasps> that is a beautiful word. Oh, it does roll off the tongue, doesn't it? I would like some oblectimate, please. <gasps> yes, it is a good word, and that means it has value. Any anything with value, I can trade. Oh, this is going to be great. Now, your friend Ian is an honest trader, so let me compensate you for that word by giving you a Gobble Gregor in exchange. What They're very futuristic. The, what is a go what, what's a Gobble Gregor? <laughs> Imagine not knowing what a Gobble Gregor is. Hilarious. You're all right, kid. Good sense of humor. Here's the Gobble Gregor. Just be sure not to use it in full reverse. We all know what happens then. Yeah, yeah, we all know. Sure do. Great, kid. What is a Gobble Gregor? I'm actually scared to learn what a Gobble Gregor is. That looks like a bomb, man. <laughs> uh, one could gobble Greg anything with this baby. One could also trade it in Cellar Street for something valuable. To whom, though? To who? Two flavors of Jupiter. You know you've got a hand. You? No. Aha! Uh -huh. There's, there's like a big. Uh... Wait, so maybe I have to go there. What's up? What's up? Up up. Coins, dude. We have a lot of coins. What do we have a question mark over there? You again? Come on. What now? What's up? Please, trade the Gobble Gregor to me. I'm sure this skull I'm offering is invaluable. It must be. It's darn old. Let's trade. Thank you. Here, have this uh, fossilized skull, I think. Strangely four-sided. It must have come from some sort of ancient extinct animal. Big Red dug it up a while back before... Uh, forget it. It's not important. But this has got to be the rarest thing in all of Two Town. Thanks, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Return to Lisbeth. Oh my. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. Gee. You have to follow this guy. I wasn't actually sure what what the four-sided skull was, but now. Does seem kind of obvious. Hey, here's a free sample. Hmm? Halcyon. It means happy and careless. First one's free, kid. Oh, really? So that's what Halcyon means. Fun fact, actually. If uh, if you know Corvus, uh, uh, Corvus, my good friend Corvus, who is another Planet Coaster YouTuber, the guy didn't know seldom. <laughs> 
and I, a French man whose language is actually, whose native language is actually French and not um, English, has actually learned, uh, taught something to an English man. Yes, I know, I know, darling. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, good times, good times. Sorry, Corvus, I had to tell you that, to tell people that, because that was so funny to me, and I'm actually proud to have learned, uh, taught, Jesus, uh, something to a native speaker. Anyway, I have a dubious fossilized skull that I might, that I think might interest you. Impossible! Let me see that. By the card makers themselves, this is a dice. Or rather, it was a dice. So, about making it worth my while? Yes, yes, you'll get it, child. A formidable card, fit for a dice wielder. That sounds good, yes. That's piqued your interest, yes. But before I give you this card, no, 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 I no. just... I want... You, what? I want to say thank you, child. Uh -huh. It's been so long since I've seen a dice. Even one that's dead like this. That alarms you, doesn't it? Yes, dice can die. We found that out in the No Dice War. The No Dice War? What's that? It was a catastrophe. The Queen Child decided that she should be the only one to wield a dice. And so she waged war on them and on those who'd wield them. And she did not show mercy in victory. Obviously she if, failed, though. When she finds out there's still a dice and still a wielder, well, she will be apoplectic. And she is not to be toyed with. What happened here, she will do to you and your friend here. It's not a threat, little one. It's an observation. Cleaned from hard-earned experience. Hypothetically speaking, that is. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. As for this poor dice, I'm going to return it to where it belongs. To the sacred valley of the dice. You know it. That's where I find out. I found uh, Dicey. Wait, you've been there? I have. It used to be so different. There are some of us who remember the old ways, child. We must stay hidden and we must stay silent. But we exist. The valley is hidden far below random and far from the queen's prying eyes. It's a crypt, a land of the dead. Forbidden to all but a few will remember. I'd wager you don't fully know what you travel with. Yeah, I do. I'm traveling with a friend. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you are. Goodbye, child. Take care and... Random rules. <laughs> yeah. She was actually alright. There we go. So we have loads of... Ah. Hey! What, what happened? I, wanted to do. I heard a ruckus! Long story. But you've got your eyes, Seymour. Oh! My peepers and weepers! Oh, <laughs> I missed you so much! <laughs> oh. Ah, much better. <laughs> and as for those pips, if you don't mind, it just takes a little precision, the utmost finesse, and... Bonk! <laughs> <laughs> Done! Good as new, little buddy!
Thank you for repairing my friend, Seymour. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you for helping me properly see you again. You're welcome, buddy. Not everyone would have done what you did, and old Seymour here will never forget that. So, what are you gonna do now? I gotta get to freedom. I'm gonna roll free over at the giant door, for starters. The old one-step-at-a-time approach, eh? Well, that's a healthy way to approach the unknown. Well, I wish you well on your next adventure. And uh, if I could give you some semi-solicited advice. Sure. Every roll of the dice matters, but not every roll counts. Thanks. Anytime. Not <laughs> even. I'll miss you, but I'm sure we'll see each other again in far off places. Yeah, something tells me that we definitely will. Dicey upgraded. Yes. Finally. So one less trip to Manny's and we'll be on our way. So, oh my god, we've got lots of, uh, okay, so we've got only one thing. So, considering that we have a new card, so what's that? Each crystal is worth more. This is technically free. So, let's take this, this. Ah, okay, so now I understand what this does. Defends the hazard damage. Not super good. But add to the shop, nevertheless. So what's that new thing? Shadow Man's touch. The Shadow Man poisons Even's weapons. Each hit poisons the smitten adversary. This spell lasts for 30 seconds. Very well. So, as I was saying, um, oh, what? That's new. Wait, Four Town's Revenge. Summon the vengeful spirit of Four Town. It moves slowly, damage, damaging adversaries caught in its path. Hmm. Very well. So, we definitely need a new health card. And we need a new crystal curse. And we can get a low level, well, not low level card, but. You know what? Let's stop there. There we go. All right. Well, guys, let, let me just check if we're. Now it looks like we're good, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, off to freedom then. The girl was a long way from home, about to enter the land of three. Who knew what adventures awaited her there? The answer is me. I do. I'm the narrator. But for even and Dicey, the adventure was just beginning. Even sister was still out there, somewhere, lost in random. He said the title. You know, it's it's the Leonardo DiCaprio meme, like <laughs> with the pointing finger thing. What? What? Why do I have the dark dice? I can't even throw it. I hate the dream sequences. Ugh, that's heavy. Oh, oh my god. That's because it's a burden, right? Okay, okay, I get it. What's that sound? Is that the mayor? No, that's not the mayor. Ah! Oh, 
road to Troon Room. It looks just like I remember. <sighs> Even. Oh wait, I'm playing as Odd? Oh! So that's Two Town? Is that part upside down? That's a Four Town, so that must be Freedom. <laughs> With a big sword in it. It's amazing anyone can live inside that chaos. So that must be four. Which is definitely divided, by the way. What happened here? Then there's five. Mum used to tell me stories about the card makers. I wonder if they were true. Can we get to the throne, actually? Because that's... Well, the, tr the throne is huge, actually. Okay, what's going on Home, here? Home, I guess. Don't touch that! Uh-oh. You mustn't ever touch that odd. Ever. Never touch it again. What? What's this model of Sextopia for? Why do you have it? I have it because I desire it, Todd. You're twelve. There are things you don't understand yet. Anyway, forget it. Because I have something for you, Odd. Something special. Do you, though? Know? I don't want a gift from you. <laughs> That rudeness. That's your one origin showing. Don't worry, we'll break you of that yet. And it's not a gift. It's something to be earned. But for now, go on, try it. I had it made just for you. What's it? The mask. Okay, this shot, this shot was amazing. Like, clearly, whoever worked on, uh, on this game definitely knows cinema and everything. Above Even was one of the Queen's Royal Spiders, the kind that had taken away Odd on that terrifying night. They were the collectors of children who were to become Sixers. Spider monster. <laughs> Ghost. Oh, wait, wait. Come back. But it money. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. That was a cool Sweet shot. They are bigger. robots. What do you mean you've seen bigger? <laughs> I've just picked up on that.
Wow, this has just become more epic. I always knew I was a Sixer at heart. I knew! I'll do all sorts of important work for the Queen while Bernard mops the floor. Uh, hey, where is Bernie? <gasps> Bernard is gone! <laughs> a Sixer child is missing! I repeat, a We should help him. He'll be in alive out here. Mm, the spider seemed impossible to get into at the moment. Oh, but perhaps Bernie would know how to get to her sister. Even knew. Come on, we've got to find him. Oh, yes, yes. Time was of the essence. I was done anyway. <laughs> I hope so. Love the little interactions with uh, with the narrator. Wow, Manny! What? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Freedom was a district tearing itself apart in a three-way civil war. A murdered father. Three siblings, each suspecting the other of the deed. And a giant battle droid, given to each by the Queen to settle the matter. That is so cool. I wasn't yeah, expecting mate, this. This guards. Sometimes I feel like it's my sole purpose in life. <laughs> I wasn't expecting oh, hello. that. Uh... You've made it to three town, have you? Yeah. Be careful here. Those triplets don't mess around. But then again, that just gives you three good reasons to buy some cars, eh? <laughs> Many decks. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Yeah, well, now we're true. both here, and that means one thing. Let's trade cards! Yay! But how did you manage to get out of Two Town? Let me answer that question with a question. Who could possibly dwell on the past when we've got cards in the present? Then... So, true. let's trade, shall we? <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, what did I want it to buy again? Um, da -da 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 -da. No. Let's try the poison thing. So yeah, as I was saying, I was not expecting the game to go this way. Wait, Dicey, do you mind? I'm trying to get a thumbnail here. Silence, Nishka. Oh yeah. Do you mind? 
Yeah, get behind me. Yeah, that should be enough good shots, I guess. Right, so. <laughs> so many things to do. Can I? Oh, there must be something I can do with this bell. Okay. Fascinating. Fascinating. Oh. I'm noble, you it? understand. Heck, most of us here are. Re Regina, what? This Regina, do you? belonged to my family, don't you know? Uh -huh. It still does, I suppose. Looks like it's seen better days. It has. I'm noble, you understand. Heck, most of us here are. That must be nice for you. I suppose it is. I don't know any other way to live, you understand. It belonged to the triplets, and before then, it belonged to the Lord or King of Freedom. Before his murder. You knew the king. You know the triplets? Just so. But I'm a distant relative, far enough to stand outside the daily battles and to not choose a side. You know, I have another distant relative, a cousin of mine, that I haven't heard from in some time. Not since this cursed civil war started. Last I heard, she was in the Duke's garden, playing nobility, eating cakes, I suppose. If I could see her again, I'd tell her that I miss her, that's all. It's silly, but you never think of the people you care about until they're no longer in your life. And it would do true. my heart good to know that she knows I do miss her. But it's too dangerous for me to go stumbling around the battlefield. Please excuse me. Well, if you need me to do that, I'll do it if I stumble upon, uh, upon this person. What was I talking about? So, who even are you? The attack has begun! The king must be saved! Uh, attack? From where? What? Identify yourself, stranger! I'm even. What's your name? I am Nishka, and I'm... I'm... I... I, I used to protect somebody important, I think. A ruler, maybe? Before the war. The... King you mentioned, is that who you used to protect? Oh, even, you sweet child. You can't keep clinging to the past. The king's dead and gone now for years, don't you remember? So who are you protecting, then? Uh... Right. Well, Nishka, I need to go. What? How did you know my name? Okay. You told it to me a few seconds ago. What? I've never seen you before in my life. The king! Protect the king from danger! Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait to get back home. But I can't get back home without knowing the way. Or can I? Oh, <laughs> hey, mister. Uh, do you know the way to one... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, you want a hug? Uh, uh, okay. Woo -woo. Whoa. It's pretty cold in here and dark, too. I don't know what that was, but that's going to be our next bus, I guess. <laughs> Right, so, coins, more coins. Actually, shouldn't we end the episode right now? Because I think we get, we got a lot of progress done so far, and this thumbnail was really, really cool as well. So I really definitely want to use it. But anyway, 
I'm really happy uh, that we could have that we could make uh, some progress with Lust and Random, and that I can definitely continue doing that a lot more uh, regularly. Oh my God, regularly, Re regularly. There you go. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this what sixth episode? Oh yeah, yeah. I think it was the sixth episode of Lust and Random. If you liked it, well please leave a like and tell me in the comments why you liked it. Also consider subscribing because I definitely want to see what's next with those giant mech thingies. <laughs> and I'm sure you do as well. So yeah, do consider subscribing. But anyway, this has been Yan, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and I'll see you guys in the next one. A bientôt!